Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are in the world. Let's look at the fear, the fear that stops you in your tracks from moving forward in something you desire or you believed in. How do you deal with it? Do you just keep going or do you stop and look at the fear and do nothing? Well, no one can really tell us how to overcome fear rather than to face it. Because if we do not face our fears, what happens is we'll always have it um, following us, like someone tapping you on the shoulder. It'll always be there. Um, your fears, our fears, my fears have come to make us aware that it's time for a change. What that change is, you know, because you're dealing with it. You know what makes you restless. You know what makes you unhappy. You know what makes you feel unworthy or has you feeling less confident in yourself. You know when you go to work, if you're not being treated right or someone is talking to you in a way that is not kind, that there's a feeling. And this conversation is not about blame, it's about the cues of movement in your life for growth. Because the cue is not that the people at work don't like you. The cue is it's time for you to go higher in who you are. You can't go higher in a position unless you take a higher consciousness, okay? You can't build a business unless you become business-minded. So that means that there's need for growth. Moving on, there are a lot of people that have relationship and you know, family challenges. Um, sometimes the change that needs to come is in you and there are personality factors and characteristics that you and I and others can work on to not make it better, but make me better. Because you see, if I make me better, saying that against the odds, everything was against me, Fear was coming from every side, from my children, you know, from my mother and father. It was being displayed, yet I stood in my composure to say, you have no power over me, you know? And a lot of people will say, well, you know, that's hard. The only thing that makes it hard is when your mind has not been conditioned for what I've just said. The mind tells you to sit in fear and allow it to occupy your life. The mind does. But there's a, a deeper part of us called the spirit and your soul that says, we have your back. Now, when you begin to really practice and try um, the deeper levels that you may be in call to, then you will access what is needed to become confident, courageous, happy, no matter what. I mean, some people are dealing with losses and that is seeming it's it's in life. It's how you look at it, because what you build on a material level, if if spirit is not involved in it, it's like a house built on sinking sand because spirit did not help you and guide you to let you know that it was good. It was all me. Um, self-centered ego or all you self-centered ego. The spirit must come in to balance out the ego. If not, there will be lack, which means there's no fulfillment in what you've built. You're not happy with it. All of this energy is going out around what you've built on a material level, but there was nothing to make it solid, such as your spirit or the man of God um, or the, the Godhead, the goddess, you know what I'm saying? And so what we find here is, is that without spirit interacting in our lives, and I'm not saying that, you know, you all don't have it. What I'm saying is, is for those that have experienced any of the situations or conditions, your turn is within. 
to go within into the heart and go further. You know, if you've been practicing um, at one level, you may be in call to um, maybe being called to another level of spiritual practice. Um, and, and, and what you do is, you know, find ways of connecting because connecting is not really hard. <clears throat> connecting with people that are practicing on other levels is not hard. What's hard is allowing um, ourselves to believe that we can trust the spirit of God to connect us with the right people. You know, the trust factors fall when you're dealing with fear factors and um, you have to trust in something and someone. So back to fear, because all of this is um, calculated in it. The enemy is about fear. All right. Um, it can't give love and happiness and joy. It can only give fear. That means that material, it can't speak back to you when material is manifested and pressed out in your life is sitting there as so it's, it's just matter dung. It's time to recreate something else. You see, people have houses that they are not happy with. And, you know, there's a level of gratefulness that needs to be a part of this here as well. But getting to the simple fact that people have houses they're not happy with, clothes and shoes, we go into the matter of issues because the void is still there. You can keep on giving yourself things. But if it's not the fortification that you need, you'll always feel insignificant, lonely, unhappy, um, lacking, empty, like you're not like you, like you're nothing. And, you know, it's hard to say that, but it's a matter of fact. And so how you can begin to make changes, you know, um, Jesus said over in um, John 16 and 33, I have told you these things so that in me, you may have peace in this world the body, the ego, the social construct, you will have trouble, but take heart. I've overcome the world. So greater works were in you than those that he would do. He also said, so the greater works, everything that he talks about is in inside of him. Um, I and my father are one when they asked him, you know, uh, was he saying that he was a God? He said, no, it's, it's the father within me. So the connection to overcoming fear is to begin that relationship that is unshakable, unmovable, throughout all circumstances, you're dedicated to running to the presence of God daily. You know, if it's two or three times a day, if you get there, but it's a need to get up in the morning with the practice of the presence of God um, and to go to bed with the practice. And if you find you need an extra dose in the midday, then you go in because if greater works are in you than those that were in Jesus, as he said, that's a powerful thing. You know, the fear of change is if we don't change or the fear um, that, that grips us gives the, the fear power because if we don't change, we don't grow. We, we don't um, improve our lives. We're looking to improve through change. And, uh, you know, in that change, we perfect those things that concern us um, coming out of a mind, your mind that is telling you the problem is all there is. I, I told some people that I work with in classes last night that if you have a problem, there's a solution. The distraction is um, in whatever you're thinking about as the problem, that is not allowing you to find the solution because your mind is not open when you realize that your mind has been 
the setup for the enemy, then you'll begin to move into heart, which is further into yourself, spirit, become more acquainted with your heart and what your heart is feeling so that you can begin to purge and clear um, situations that really do not connotate who you are. You know, for every loss, there's a gain, but there is um, a necessary participation with something greater, such as God, um, to receive back double for your trouble. There is an attitude and emotion that is needed to take place in uh, the seeming loss. I always tell those that I work with is seeming because you're in a season of a process or a trial. Life is lessons. It's school. And when we look at it from that point of view, we can see that we have the power to change our lives. So continuing on with you have the power to change your life. You have it. You have to exercise that ability that you're not familiar with in order to uh, see power rise in your life. You have to let go of what is familiar dealing with fear, even the things, the people, the places, and the times in order to exercise your ability as a change agent of your own mind, body, and soul. You know, someone that um, wants to change eating habits will wrestle with um, it because they have practiced eating um, whatever they wanted at one time, and it will become you know, um, possibly hard. There's fear there as well, because the fear is saying, actually, girl, and it's temptation, girl, a boy, you know, you want to eat that um, hamburger. And then you're saying, okay, I am. So don't give in to um, the temptation and the desires of the flesh and the fear. Um, Take the step to move into the place that you thought of that you hadn't exercised. This is unfamiliar. Do the things that are unfamiliar, that are, you know, whole and healthy to make changes in your life. That's just an example. And you can use it for anything else that you might be going through. So you guys have a wonderful day and be blessed and be that change that you want to see you be the change. Don't expect others to be and shine like a light. Blessings.